Hey guys, what's going on? Short video today. Um, people were confused about a video I uploaded a couple months ago. So I'm just going to make another video with a couple more methods. Just showing you how to remove the brand off of 000 webhost. So I made this website here, which I'm going to put down in the description below that you can go to. So to start off, we're going to start with jQuery. So as you can see, it does not load. And I'm going to explain it here real quick. Basically, we choose the CDN, so we load the script from the jQuery website. And in the script section, we check if the document is ready. Then we search the body to find an image that equals the source of the brand removal web, web uh, asset. Then we find the parent. Oops. And then the parent of that one, and then we remove it. That's jQuery for you, and it still works. Someone tried to tell me that it didn't still work, but uh, <laughs> it does. This is the CSS method, as of course it doesn't work. It's the easiest one to do. Anywhere in a style sheet, if you have a, a like a, um, a dot .css file, you can place this in there too, or you can place it on your main uh, HTML website. So all you need to do is just put image, and then we're just gonna search the source Make sure it matches and then display none. Pretty simple, pretty easy and works. The third method is the regular JavaScript method. Most people didn't want to use CDN uh, or the jQuery CDN, my bad. So to do it with regular JavaScript, it is going to be a bit longer just for a backup. But uh, let me explain it to you. So this function right here, make sure that the document is ready. If not, it's going to add a, an event listener to launch the uh, function whenever it is ready. This call right here calls this function for this function that I created to remove it. And you could probably merge these together, which is something I might doing, or I'm, oh, I might do. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Pro probably not because I don't know. Ignore everything I just said. Anyways, keep it the same way <laughs> and it will work. So uh, this is the function that removes it. Basically, we create the array that searches through all the images. We create a variable for our target file that we want to eventually assign. We loop through all this array right here. We loop through the array to try to find an image that matches the source of the asset, the banner asset. And then we assign the the target with the array and then uh, we remove it and then we break it so it doesn't run anymore anyways this works it's the longest one you can choose the CSS if you prefer you know uh, I actually prefer that more now than the jQuery one just because it looks a bit more nicer especially if someone's going through your website um, being a little nosy then it just it looks more professional just to have it done this way it looks a lot more professional just to maybe buy your own website, but this is to get it for free. And uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment down below. All this code is going to be available on this website right here, so I'm going to put that in the description below. All you need to do is come to the website, say you want to do the CSS method, click on it, view page source, and then here it is for you. Don't copy this part right here. Because, again, all we're doing is display none, which will make it show nothing, but the code will still be there for the banner. So this is just the banner code. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like or subscribe if you want.